Yeah. He said you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking. All of your exes were lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine. You never let it in. Well, I guess it's your right. But fake has been never my type. And I didn't build up this wall over. So, alright, um, guys, let me know if you hear anything. I know YouTube was, was kind of buggy right now, but I hope this here works now. So, I need your feedback, please, because it says that it's working. Yeah, I don't know. No feedback yet. We can hear you, bro. All right, that's perfect. So I'm a little bit under the weather, but you should also see me now if that is not lying to me. I just want some feedback that it works. I can see it on my end, so I assume it's working pretty good. I've just seen Eminem. Yeah, Eminem was like the, the starting screen. Like I was doing stuff, I was working around and there on. Okay, yeah, it seems to work. 12 people right now. I hope there will be more. I'm open to answer any question you guys might have. I'm also hosting a giveaway right now. I just want to plug it. You can participate over Instagram and you can participate over um, Twitter. Um, I have the link so I will post it once in the chat but I won't be um, online much like I won't be on my computer so there's the link if you want to join like you can win an awesome you've entered all right good luck I hope you win I hope anyone wins really I would like to have everyone win but that's not always possible I am cable is kind of short but doesn't matter I hope you guys are doing well I have already been working for since 7 a.m. now it's 6 a uh, 6 p.m. so let me switch over to the drawing so I can actually show you what I have already done so you should see the drawing any second if not already How's it going? It's going pretty well actually. I just wanted to show you the drawing. I hope it works now, it actually should work. But you never know. I hope the first stream worked, but as you've seen, it didn't really work, so 
now everything should work. This is the sketch I have for Gogeta. I just wanted a powerful looking like crossed arms pose with a little bit of a like head tilt. I have like four, four, no, three hours. So we have to be done in three hours. I just want to show it to you. This is the very rough sketch I did at first. This is how I always start, basic shapes as you can see. It's just circles and a bunch of lines. You'd think it's completely random, but there's actually a lot of thought behind it. What I did after that is I created this out of it. You can see it fits, but it's just with more detail. And the next step I always do is just put those things in a folder, go a little bit down with the opacity. And I actually need another window open. I hope you have a little bit of time. What I do is I have a, a second version of it on another screen. So whenever I like need to check on the detail or whatever you can do, like whenever I'm interested in how it's looking, it's always better to have a big image than the small preview, especially if you're on a small screen working. So guys, this is actually not just for me, it's more for you. So you guys know, like you can ask questions that you might have, if you have any, Feel free to ask me anything. This is like some people have told me this is a one of a kind chance for you to learn. And if you're doing art yourself, maybe you can improve by the stream, I would hope. So yeah, I will just start because I don't have a lot of time. Um, but I usually start like with the eyes actually you will see a lot of racing because I have had people who actually asked me if I ever erased and I found it funny because I don't know like whenever I look artists like I, whenever I look over an artist's shoulder I I kind of always see them erasing you know it's especially in digital art it's actually the most handy like, like the best reason to do digital is because you can change it at any time and yeah so you will see a lot of raising i am starting to ramble for some reason but i've actually been working the whole day as i said and it's kind of relieving to start talking again after so many hours because I haven't really talked to anyone the whole day. <laughs> so I already have a question, how's it going? It's going pretty well, as I said, a little bit busy, but I'm always busy. When did you start drawing the Dragon Ball Z? I started drawing Dragon Ball Z when I was like eight or something, because that's when I first got introduced to the series. I have to admit when I started watching it, it was currently the Frieza saga. So I have started with Dragon Ball Z and then found out that the original Dragon Ball is actually much better. But you know, I'm happy that I discovered it because I'm a big fan until this day. When um, is there a piece of art that you'd be most proud of and who's your favorite animator? My favorite animator by like light years is Glenn King. Um, and my favorite artwork, I can maybe just blend in some of my most recent stuff. It's for example, Deadpool, Broly, Venom. Um, you get to see a few now, I hope. And who's your favorite animator? Like you're probably more of an anime fan, but I personally 
am more of Disney fan. Like Disney animation is by far the best thing. My by far my most favorite thing to watch. Two D animation by Glenn Keane, Aaron Blaze, um, Milt Carl, and all those crazy people. So yeah, Glenn Keane is my favorite animator. And yeah, did you watch the Venom movie? No, I haven't have time to watch anything. Holy fire! Yo, confuse, brother, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in a long time. I love the Bakugo piece, yeah. It's one of the, those I'm proud of. Like, I'm not proud of every piece, but I should be probably because you know how artists are. Artists are always like, they don't always agree with those people who say the art is crazy and amazing and beautiful and whatever. I personally am one of those and I do realize that I should probably not be that hard on myself. I'm a little bit under the weather as I said, so if I'm like having difficulties to, to breathe, you know what's up. Do you hear actually any music? And if you have questions, feel free to ask anything, you know? This is a chance for you to talk to me, to ask me questions. You can actually tweet me at any time. You can write me messages, but tweeting at me is probably the best way to to get my attention. Yuya Takahashi, yeah, I know him. I know Yuya, Yuya. All good, bro. You're busy, I respect that. Yeah, I'm really busy. You know, I work in game development and it's actually a live production, like we have an update for with new content and new everything every three weeks. This time it's four weeks, so I'm a little bit less stressed, but yeah, game dev is definitely not the easiest thing to work in. I hear music, yeah, so cool, man. Thank you, Fly Through YouTube. I'm glad you flew through my channel. So, you know where I am. I'm not sure if this look fits to Gogeta because he's not that. I mean, he is cocky, but he's like more like badass like unemotional it seems like trying to capture that as much as i can you know emotions are a big piece big part of every art trick i wish i could draw i'm super bad at it well let me ask you a question dragon ball dad um how often are you drawing because I believe that I'm not really talented, I just put in a hell of a lot of hours in it. You can ask Confuse Art, my moderator, he's older than me and I think he has put in as much time in art as I have lived. He's a crazy artist, crazy amazing talented and I find that most people who actually spend a lot of time at it, they get pretty decent, you know. and. have to forgive me if I'm silent a few parts uh, I can like draw things with the ear oh yeah love it the ear I wish I could draw um, not enough I just do to relax like an hour a week dude Try to get to an hour a day and you will be like amazing in a year. Right now Inktober is going on and you know you draw every every day of the year, uh, every day of the month in October. You put out a picture, you post it and artists engage together and it's 
actually the reason behind it is so you get better jake parker the creator of inktober he created it in order to become better at art like with ink so he inked a piece of art every single day in october called it inktober posted stuff about it and people liked the idea a lot so that they actually started doing it a yearly thing where tons of artists like there's millions probably online millions of posts i guess and you know it's the best thing ever like artists working together and checking out each other and i don't know you can, you can make a lot of friends through it and it's actually really tough but you really really get better as an artist i tried it one year every single day of the year and i really get better it's probably the best thing you could do as an artist draw a lot as much as possible if you just want to relax and do stuff i i, I don't want like i don't want to make it difficult on you you could not draw every day and you'll still have fun so try to have fun at it if that makes sense so don't draw it in don't draw to get better because i can promise you that you yourself will never feel good at it you will always think that it sucks that you're not good enough but just keep in mind that you will never actually think that you're good enough so the way like it's you know it's not the destination it's about the path what people always say but with art it's actually true you will never be at the destination you want you will always find stuff to work on and that's actually one of the things i love most i can't wait to get better at a specific thing just in just to start on something new and get even better at that and all in all you're getting better as an artist every single day when you're drawing it's just it's just not that quick as some would hope i guess i'm rambling way too much am i talking too much it's hell of a ride to develop a style yeah it is it's actually taking real long i have problems with leg and hand angles and anatomy any advice draw from life like take a picture of a hand in whatever pose you want take a picture of it and try to draw it do that every single day at least five hands or three hands a day i promise you in a year you will love your hands at least it took me like i had problems not too long ago where i said i hate drawing hands and legs and feet and yeah i hated it actually a lot i tried to not do it whenever i could but in the end i stuck with it i took a month or so and i got really great in that single month so now you you just have to learn to tackle your problems heads on and not avoid it you know just to keep it short could you draw michael myers um the cool thing about artists is that once you know the basics you can draw whatever you want so yes i could draw michael myers i actually have no idea who michael myers is and unless i think you commission it somehow i don't think i would be able to do it do some studies it sucks at the beginning but it will pay off later promise i promise that as well make it too i am i have a call so i'll mute my mic really quick i hope you don't mind I'm sorry everybody, I just had an important call. 
Um, yeah, that's how it is. If you're busy guy, you just have to manage things and talk about stuff all the time, I guess, on the phone. But I'm back right now. Um, do you like this bizarre adventure? That art is amazing. I know about it. I have never seen it. I have seen the art style though. It's very Asian, but still different, which is very interesting to me. Should I do it spiky like that? I don't think so. You have to forgive me, I just having a train of thought and then um, trying to figure out it's here somehow. Um, I have never seen it as I said. So Jameric draws. Oh no, Mortis first. He's a horror pick that has some weird mess. Oh I know who he is, Michael Mars, yeah sure. For some weird reason I thought that was like a musician or something and the name kind of sounded familiar but I didn't want to say I know him if I couldn't even remember how it looked like but yeah Michael Myers is kind of like the Joker everybody should know him I think I don't know it's hard for me to draw Broly I want to create my own poses for him without copying others but it's hard and it's it's I can tell you, you, you could do what every professional artist is doing, like those working for big studios. Look at reference. I know that many people on Twitter claim to be that that is theft or that is that is like not the right thing to do morally. I don't know how you call it in English, but you know, many people claim that it, that is like the you're the devil if you do that shit but those people are mostly not that good and if you l look at their poses you can see that they are structurally very messed up the best thing is to draw from life but rarely anyone does it like you could go to draw with life drawing classes where you're like drawing people in different poses with those nude models i'm sure you've seen it but the next best thing is what I've done, try to find models online and draw them. That's actually the best thing I could recommend to you because it's free. You have access to Google. And you know, you could, you cannot come up with your own pose if you don't know the human body um, well enough. And if you have not enough experience in drawing poses, so you, you don't know how the human body behaves in a way. Hope that makes sense and it's actually really hard for like you can't come up with a pose if you don't know the human body it's that easy it's like me telling you to draw a horse or let's say someone in siberia who's never had access to television telling them draw a lion and he knows what a lion is but he can't draw it because he hasn't studied it enough you have to learn it that's the most easiest thing i could tell you try it work on it and work on it a lot actually i keep repeating repeating myself so you have to apologize me if i'm rambling too much i just want to get my point across in a way i hope you understand me but I don't realize when I'm talking too much, you know. I also try, like in the past, I had streams where I was and I was focusing too much, and I didn't really draw anything. Or, like I didn't, I did draw. Like either I drew, or I talked. And now I'm doing both at the same time. I try at least. So if I'm talking too much, let me know. SMH. DVD, shaking my head, Dragon Ball D. Um, hi, Punch Sloth, One Punch Sloth, or Sloths. Um, yeah, I'm drawing Dragon Ball, and I don't actually care 
where it's from. I just had a lot of people tell me they want to see um, Gogeta in Super Saiyajin Blue. So, whatever. Like, for me, it doesn't make a difference what I'm drawing. I drew Broly recently, and they said there's a rumor that Gogeta is in the next movie, and I should totally draw him. And I decided while I want to actually to get back to streaming and see if my settings still work, I figured why not draw him live since this is actually one of the low quality images I do. Since it's actually real simple, this pose is real simple. It's not as detailed, it's okay ish. So, yeah, Dragon Ball is also not that the hardest thing on the earth. It's one of the simplest things you could draw. For some reason, I make them pointy. They they should not be pointy. They should be somewhat like this. I have a feeling they are smaller than the other year. Yeah, they are way too small. I had a really stressful and long day. I've been working on this computer since 7 a.m. Now it's almost 7 p.m. And I have a few hours left, like after this drawing, which will last for, I hope, three hours, maybe two. I will have to get back to some commissions. And yeah, this is pretty much a warm up for my commissions, even though I have drawn all the day already. But you know, for our game, the art style is very different. And sometimes I like to mix stuff unless I properly warm up. I don't want to draw Gogeta. I don't know. Does that make sense? I just have to switch between styles and sometimes drawing something Dragon Ball esque before I do something real Dragon Ball. Helps. <laughs> Painting and talking is cryptomatic. Yeah, it's really hard. In your free time, what do you like to draw? You do a lot of DB for commissions, so you do like a change. In the main, like when I'm working at work, I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Right uh, today, I drew. I shouldn't even tell you that, but I didn't draw characters. I drew something much larger. Very large, actually. It's seven thousand by. 4000 like over like 7k resolution if you want to go with that naming conventions and yeah usually you see my stuff on instagram i like to post pretty much everything i do in my free time free time free time but you know it's not that much that interesting sometimes it didn't even make sense what I just said, but you know, I do like to keep it short. I do a lot of different stuff. I just don't always post or whatever. I don't know. I got off the track because I'm drawing. I don't know. Went to your Insta to see art. Damn, son, those colors. Your use of colors is amazing, especially on digital illustration work. If you come, it's markers are fantastic as well. Well, I'm a professional artist. I earn a living with it. I work in game development. 
I should probably introduce myself because not everyone seems to know who I am. May I ask what tablet you're using? I'll, I'll get to that. Um, my name is Tomislav. I am an artist, animator, designer. Like I design stuff, landscapes, characters mainly. And I do the rough animations, also the final animations for a game. It's a pretty huge mobile game title. And I'm the art director in the project, but I mainly just like to draw. And this is what I do in my free time. I also draw because these drawings got me my job and the choice of my, my, my colors, my use of colors is because I study a lot of real stuff around me so I know where colors should be and how they should be What tablet are you using? Currently I'm working on a Cintiq, a Wacom Cintiq I also have my iPad Pro right next to me where I will probably pull up some reference because here like I want Fujita suit to be like for real suit. I could show my art while I'm drawing. Um, I will pull up some reference on there. I like the like I like the iPad to draw stuff, most stuff. But I also love my 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 Cintiq, which I don't know. Cintiqs are the best thing you could use for art. I think. They are they might be expensive but the tools actually don't matter what matters is that you put in the work when you draw and yeah you gotta do jiren i drew jiren like three times okay four times most favorite drawing and least favorite drawing you done i don't have a most favorite and least favorites i would not like to think of any right now but i can't really remember let me just pull up an image of gogeta because now i have to get to his suit it's actually pretty simple but i have already seen something i forgot see this drawing is like this is this happens when you do a sketch without really using any reference i did that mistake a few times and now i'm regretting it a lot of times wow a face i haven't seen in a while what's up vidrata i do remember you actually I have been very busy and you know YouTube is not been my priority even though I actually did record a video the other day I recorded my Broly drawing which I just planted in actually like which you just saw I guess and I fully narrated it like it, the video was sped up but I talked over it, over the Speedy version, the Speedy Gonzalez version. And what happened is I lost the audio completely, so they ran my narration. I was actually really pissed because I lost like. This was about three hours of work that were lost there. So yeah, I was not that happy about it. Yeah, that's good though. I have no idea what you're referring to, to be honest, sorry. This is actually wrong anatomically. Does any one of you draw? Do you have a favorite thing to draw? And do you have, have a question that is burning on the inside and you really would like and answer by an artist who I would like to say has has gone through a lot of things so I could probably help you it's it's actually really flattering that not so many artists are watching me because that means that my art is so good that people who don't know a thing about it are interested 
but sometimes I would really appreciate some more artists because then I have more people to talk to. So I don't know why. I think that makes sense. I have no idea, but you get the point, I think. One second, I have seen something pop up on the screen. Do you like football? Are you talking about American football or a real European football? I say real because it's the one that existed first, so... Even though it was called ASOC or something. Which is where the name soccer came from. But to get to your question, I am not a big fan of either. Should I say either? I don't know. But I'm not a big fan of either one of those. But I do watch. I do watch. Um, yeah, soccer. I did watch the World Cup. If you follow my Instagram you actually saw a lot of selfies in my story and you know I have tickets for the upcoming game in Croatia versus Spain so I will be there even though I'm not the biggest fan you know I, I am Croatian and you can't be Croatian and not watch any Croatian football That'd be a sin, you know, people would... I don't know. Talking bullshit. His forearms are pretty massive. Jeez. That is definitely a mistake in my sketch. I'm also sorry about the music, if you don't like it, it's free and Twitch, uh, YouTube won't get me in trouble with it, about it, so I hope I should be safe, even though it's pretty random, I just looked it up on YouTube five minutes before the stream, but yeah, so have you, have some artists already written, because I would like to answer some questions. I draw comic based stuff. Guess my question would be how to keep being motivated, continue to draw and doing art in general. My motivation are the people online sometimes. Sometimes it's it's the idea for the artwork. Like I think if you have to draw something and you don't feel like it you're much less motivated than if if it's something you're actually really hyped about it and you're looking forward to draw it that way it's much easier to draw and you will much easier find motivation for it but to be honest i don't really struggle with that question anymore i think i found for myself that if you just go through it and scribble and do bad sketches it will actually be a lot easier over time you, you won't struggle with it as much anymore and at some point it won't ever be a problem anymore i suppose because for me that's the case right now but yeah but it actually does help like when i get from work sometimes i don't feel like drawing at all like i've already drawn for 10 hours why should i draw for another five or six but then when I sit down and look at the thing I have to draw, like think about the idea and stuff, I actually feel a little spark inside of me and I feel motivated to draw it. Even though that five minutes ago I wasn't really motivated at all. It does help. Artists offer better feedback. I can only offer tips on colors. Well, yeah, but it's actually, you know, 
I started as a graphic designer. I did motion graphics. I did a lot of print, also some web design, like I programmed websites and, you know, it actually helped me a ton. Like it's, I was able to transfer a lot of the ideas I used in design over to my art, like the rule of thirds or what you would call like the golden ratio most young artists don't consider those things while others do it automatically but having done graphic design for so many years like it's been five not five years it's too little it was like seven years that i was full-time doing graphic design i figured that composition actually plays a huge role in art so don't underestimate the designers feedback on your art they can make look they can make things look like easier on the eye and more beautiful than some artists. And actually you can learn from every single person, even though if they have no knowledge at all, they can give you their feedback. And oftentimes they might have better feedback just because they don't know that they are not too caught up into the minutia theoretical information that you never that's not really that int like that important so they root for more aesthetics while artists actually like try to overcomplicate things especially when they're younger yeah i hope i'm making sense like in my head does all make sense and I know I've used that it's my experience my personal experience and what I have heard from other artists but I'm trying to help you while drawing and I have to admit it's not the easiest thing at all someone said it's his kryptonite I can totally relate Do you have any more questions, anyone? Anyone that. Yeah, I'm just sorry. Talk. I forgot to share this on my. What's it called? I will share this on my Facebook page. If you know about it, I have like. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think and how can I find the link actually? Um, I'll put in this thing again. Um, I have about 25, 26,000 people over there. So they might be interesting in the stream as well because I haven't sh really told them anything about it. So I kind of feel guilty, but I hope you can forgive me if I share the link really quick to them. But in the meantime, you can leave your questions. You can ask me whatever you think of my work, like whatever you want. Jesus, my English doesn't make any sense today, does it? So, you know. Do you want to like what is your dream job maybe i can help with that i achieved mine i do what i dreamt it was my dream job as a kid a lot of a long time i forget about it but then i realized damn i really got there facebook is down for me why is that if you have um ideas for future artworks you know i do draw a lot of drag ball which i have done really long time but yeah facebook is coming um but i'm starting to get back into it like i didn't draw anything before broly for two three months then i got back to dragon ball for some reason my followers are real huge dragon ball fans but you know
Facebook won't work, then I suppose I should do another separate Facebook stream at some point, which I also wanted to test sometime, so maybe that would be the best time. So yeah. Thanks man, I agree 100%. Glad I could say something you like. Could you slot throw Slappy the talking doll from Goosebumps? I haven't ever seen that movie or whatever it is. So I mean if it's a commission I will probably draw anything if I have time. But I would rather draw some stuff I know about so Dream job, dream job is still artist and I will never change. I believe you man. I hope your art is going well. Good luck bro. I know you have like been hustling harder than anyone else out there. So if anyone deserves to do it full time then it's you. You have taught me a lot. You're one of those artists that I looked up to. I'm really glad to have you as a friend, man. Having artist friends is also one big thing I would recommend. Like, you can push each other, you could help each other, you could draw over each other's sketches, improve. With an, with, like, that's... I have no idea who... Are, who have said that who has said that there was some kind of artist who lived and worked together with another really big artist and they improved massively while living together they had like times where they would just draw together and then after that he feedback on each other's drawings so having a few artists in your circle of friends is definitely helpful if you don't happen to have these i will actually on twitter draw over people's artworks and tell them what i think like if i see something i will draw over it explain where the mistakes are or where they could improve or what i would do different from because sometimes there is no mistakes a lot of times actually and i just at least tweet back and say i like this and that and you could do better and here and there in a nice way so if you're an artist and you're looking for feedback, tweet me your sketches. Don't be embarrassed. Sharing with people is the best way to actually know how good you are. Because if you're relying on your parents, they will a lot of times just say you're good because they don't feel bad saying you that you're not that good. So I don't want to ramp too much. Hell yeah, thank you, brother. It's going well, and yes, we are definitely good friends. Yep, definitely my most valuable art friend. I can tell you that because I have seen, I have talked to some artists, and you know, they know that I have been a huge fan of their art. So even though I long outgrew them because, admittedly, I think that my art is far better than theirs now because they haven't improved in years and years I you know they still try to tell me here and there that they are the reason that I got good and you know quite frankly both know that that's not true but I let them speak because you know I think they feel pity about themselves and if they need that kind of stuff, then they feel better about it. I won't say anything. And you are definitely one of those people who try to help. My portraits are only as good as they are because of you, Confuse. So, brother.
what do you think of the arc track? Like, do you like where it's going? I actually am not a fan of the vein. I know some people complain that I like to go too veiny and you can actually see that I do remove wings, I don't just add them. It's not that it's definitely not going to be the best artwork I've ever done, but you know, I just wanted to draw this out of fun. with how the arm looks and now I have to move on to the shoulder lateral head I don't know anatomy is also something that most artists first think they don't need but knowing it is definitely a big help it's not crucial but I like you bro, nice job. Thank you, Lance. What are you guys all doing? Like, I actually want your feedback. Are you just drawing? Like, are you drawing along? Are you just watching it? Are you doing something else on the side and just listening? Do you just have it running on the side so you could check on the progress? Like, what's what you're doing? What what can I expect? Can I expect you talking or? I could actually put on Discord if you would like to talk, but just me and one person or two person two people would be cool i think drawing along awesome i'm just watching it drawing along i'm drawing paragus and broly uh, it would be awesome if you could tweet at me afterwards or send it to me somehow i don't know if you're all using twitter but I would love to see what you've done. I will also retweet you, I promise. I know that some people like to get some retweets. So I will definitely make sure to share it. No, this is This is very wrong, I don't I have no idea what I was thinking. They are not connected, actually they are, but not in that way. Yes. Some people like to make apps way too symmetrical and the key to making them realistic is not making them symmetrical because there's pretty much no people who have symmetrical 
like I can tell that I can I can promise that that there's 99% of people don't have symmetrical abs. That's completely normal, and it's actually in fitness. The more symmetrical they are, the better. But it's impossible also. So. I will not keep I will not make this too detailed. I have another question what way or form or shape do you consume my art did you used to watch my youtube videos and kind of don't see anything anymore because i have people asking me when i will do art again but i still have never stopped or do you use twitter instagram or facebook Would you like to have like wallpapers, the PSD files or whatever of these artworks? Like, I would like to know what kind of stuff I could do for you besides just uploading stuff to my social media accounts. What's up, Saul? I haven't talked to you in a long time as well. We just DM'd an hour ago, I think, but we haven't actually talked in a long time. What's up? What I want to see. I'm glad we will catch up with that soon. I'm making thumbnails for people while I'm listening. I'll talk when I can though. That's awesome, man. How is it possible for you to have so many followers and subscribe every day? Not even thousand views per week. How it is possible? Because people only sh like they care for only a single, like a tiny amount of my content. I stopped YouTube a long time ago. The reason is that people were only following or subscribing or with fake accounts even just to get my free subscriber milestone banners. Like I put out very expensive art for free just to share it with my subscribers because I was that happy to earn them. But then people didn't even care watching anymore. They just waited for me to hit another milestone and that sucked a lot. So I stopped. And same with Twitter. I stopped doing Dragon Ball art and then people stopped caring and if you know a little bit about edge rank on Facebook and a little bit about social media how the sites work you would know that people if they don't like your content as much they will see less of your content and that way you are in a downward spiral unless you start making good content again I'm not the only person who is affected by it the whole internet is working like that so yeah that's how it's possible very simple if you check my facebook that's the biggest biggest indicator i had a drawing which had 870,000 views and several tens of thousands of likes it was a dragon ball drawing it got a little bit of 
like it become a little bit viral I would say but then when I put up the venom it didn't even have I don't know it was very unpopular I would say because most of my followers are interested in Dragon Ball and they only come to me for Dragon Ball and nothing else care like nothing else is interesting to them which is a little bit sad because I personally am not that much of being I'm not really you know that much of a Dragon Ball fan so I uh, just draw a Dragon Ball it's not the most the interesting of all things his community certain preferences to what he produces if he does DB art it gets insane amount of likes he doesn't use YouTube that much that's true as I said 800 and something thousand views against maybe 10,000 or 3,000 man do you like to collab again in far future sure man whenever I have to find time for it that that is really bad though bro you should just have fun with yourselves I know what when you change your content again but Dragon Ball content was equal to great content just I have never said that my most my most favorite artworks are not Dragon Ball artworks I draw whatever I want but then people like you are coming along and say that my art doesn't perform as well I just explained to you that people are mostly interested in my Dragon Ball art because they're big Dragon Ball fans I suppose I have a huge Dragon Ball community behind me I'm friends with pretty much every big Dragon Ball content creator out there and they are you know they, those people just are interested in my Dragon Ball art that's why those get a lot of views I have no idea to like I, I don't watch any series I don't watch any movies I just work and I don't know why people get stuck with numbers i personally don't really look at numbers but then there are people who ask me like I, I can't tell you right now how many people are watching i can't tell you how many followers i have on any of my platforms because i don't really care i produce art and put it out there and i tweet whenever i want to so i just know about certain artworks because i'm sometimes interested what works what doesn't work and Facebook got in touch with me because I had an artwork that was about almost a million views as I said and I don't know they wanted they got me a manager like there's some person who wanted to interact with me and talk about my future because apparently my content got them some view of a milestone and for them it's worth talking about a uh, collaboration in the future so my posts get promoted and I have no idea whatever but I haven't even talked to them to be honest I never agreed to something they just sent me an email or something and said we could talk about more in detail but I've actually never mentioned that I think because I don't really care I don't really dislike the music that's playing in my ear right now. Yeah, I've seen your art before, don't get mad if you see for hate or anything this time. It's the first time I came out and wanted to ask you sort of. Yeah, no, it's. The reason is that people are just interested in some certain stuff I do. I personally don't look at the numbers because they don't say anything. In the end, I I work in the art industry like in game industry but I'm an artist in the game industry and you know in the end my employer has never seen any of my posts and he won't hire me because I did something for that certain amount of likes he will hire me because it's good and numbers don't equal quality in fact on YouTube numbers are more equal to quantity which is also the reason why I stopped, but that's another story.
But yeah, I like to talk about stuff. I never talked about that specific thing, you know, and I figured that some people would be interested in that. I've had some people ask me while I was on YouTube why my views are going down. That was the time YouTube changed its algorithms and all that. But I had long before that turned off my whole monetization because I don't really want YouTube for pro to profit from something I've put hard work in. And it wasn't really that much of a deal. Like I was earning about 20 to 50 dollars a month and I could easily live without it which for me was just another commission more a month at least like that was not an issue for me and so yeah I don't really care about minutia thing like YouTube views or whatever or YouTube stuff I would actually like to get back to YouTube I have I mentioned it earlier I actually recorded the whole Broly artwork and I narrated the whole damn thing but in the end the narration was gone I had nothing left of it we're actually going for blue hair right well let's cater to the fans not is it actually confirmed that this guy will be in the movie? Because I know the Dragon Ball community talks about a lot of stuff that's not true, so I'm not that involved in it anymore. I used to like follow every single detail, but when Dragon Ball super stopped i took a break and i love it to be honest i'm not sad i took it this actually reminds me a lot about that vegeta drawing i did now I know what it is. The Ultra Instinct Vegeta. At least the face looks very similar to it. It's looking so cool right now. Not confirmed yet. I was thinking about that. It's not. Xenoverse dropped the leak. Alright. Someone was telling me that some animator who's supposedly working on the movie um, leaked or said something about learning how to draw Gogeta and that that was the reason. But, you know, I would hope, at least for the animators, I would hope that they're long done with it because if not they are really having crunch time right now they're s working their asses off just to finish this movie if he's learning it now but the movie has to be in movies in in two months from now i think or maybe even less then they are screwed because there's a lot of stuff that goes into production after the animation is done at least that's what I know from Disney. I hope you don't mind that I will change the color of the background slightly because I just left it white for you guys. I prefer gray. Sorry that I'm not talking, you know, it's 
it's not that easy to talk and draw at the same time. I don't like this music. Sorry, but I have not. Yeah, this is not the playlist I put on. Yeah, whatever. Let's play whatever. So yeah, where did we stop? Your drawing is gonna be epic. I would hope so. Like the goal of it is kind of to test my streaming setups, setup. But I also want to teach you guys. That's why I'm asking for questions all the time. I want to show you my process. Here's a little secret never go in with full white on white stuff because then you can't highlight it anymore and highlights are really a little bit stop it The lip will also have a different color. Yeah, I figured that everyone was speculating. I don't have a... Like, it's always the same thing. Who's that talking? Do you also draw traditional? Yes, on my Twitter or I guess Instagram is the easiest way to see it. I draw with markers sometimes and I actually have thought about another mar- Yeah, it's Marvel. Another traditional marker artwork. It will be Miles Morales again. I've drawn him before but the first time I was not that good at, at it, admittedly. But yes, I do draw traditional here and there. I don't get to draw often because I'm mostly doing um, digital, but I, en I enjoy it a lot. I need to get back to my color with smart tools, but work has been so busy. I have no idea who Smartimus is, but if you need to leave, thanks for joining, bro. I was hoping that this was not electronic music. Really. Let me. Where's something that lasts like at least. Yeah, an hour. Uh, it works. Yeah, with the same music, but you know. I love Gogeta with blue hair. It's Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue. He's like, if you're not into Dragon Ball, that doesn't really say anything to you, but it's actually a transformation and. 
it's never officially been seen like this but fans I guess they want to see it so that's the reason why many artists try Oh no, I don't have Italy, but these are not the artists we're doing an MHA DB crossover. First piece we finished was Vegeta. Oh yeah, I've seen Vegeta at All Might, bro. That artwork looked incredible. I really like that. It feels so natural. He looks like he looks like he. He really has to be that way. You know, you really did a great job mixing those two. I have one and a half hour left and it looks like we will get this thing done which I just was hoping for but I couldn't promise you but I think it will be actually be done Do you guys prefer Twitch or YouTube for streaming? Because I was actually streaming to both earlier with Restream But something didn't want to work and I just didn't want to Like it actually was streaming to Twitter What I didn't expect And Twitch but YouTube wasn't load so I just turned up YouTube Your are drolly, drolly, drolly and paragus drawing is coming out fine, so that's really awesome and I hope you can share it with me. You prefer Twitch? Yeah, I actually don't mind, but I like the Twitch community much more than I like YouTube, so... something Dragon Ball has a lot like his cheek Hi um, it's not a highlight this time it's a shadow but I like to do those sometimes for Dragon Ball art what is something that you guys struggle the most when drawing I know that there are some artists here, so should I just connect this? Yeah, probably. Like, for me, even though some people really praise me for that specific thing, it's drawing females. No, I just. 
You struggle with the line art? What exactly about it is is troubling you? Keep in mind that you can always tweet me your work if you want feedback or constructive criticism or you know whatever you would like to want as an artist. I hope I can provide it to you. looks right you know shading is for me one of those things where I can just relax there's not much thinking involved for me looks fine I forget that I need to talk if you don't know yet I have a giveaway going on if you want to win yourself an artwork that is about $50 worth of work like if you would order something like that from me you would pay $50 which is about low to mid range from uh, what I usually do. So, something like you see here is definitely possible for the giveaway. I would draw you, for example, as Venom or as Broly or as Gogeta or you fused with Gogeta or you fused with Broly or you fuse with Paragus or you fuse with Bulma you know I could draw whatever you want it's a portrait that I'm giving away you just have to go to Twitter or Instagram my profiles are linked below you can see my handle and what I'm called there you can like win and there's only a few days left to enter so if you have already entered, I wish you good luck. The, the, there's only going to be one winner, even though there's two platforms. And Instagram is right now not going that well, I can tell you. It's not that. Like, I haven't really checked how many people there are since. I don't know, I only checked once. That was last week. And there was only like a handful of participants, which was surprising because it used to be much more. But yeah.
guys I will be right back I, I just want to check on something So I'm back. Yeah, Twitch, you prefer YouTube. I just tend to blur the lines by mistake with ink, for example. Are you working digitally or are you working traditionally? Because traditionally you could blur lines theoretically. But your problem sounds like something you will learn with experience, so just keep working on it, man. Would you guys like this to be a weekly thing again? I used to stream regularly, more often I should say, they weren't really regular, but definitely once a month was possible. So do you want to have more streams? Thank you for sharing, sharing the links all. Completely forgot I had moderators. Anyone else love the shading on Gucida? Yeah, I mean, it's not my best shading work. But the principle is the same on every artwork, so... Many artists actually tell me that they struggle with shading. For me, it's one of my favorite parts about an artwork. Traditional, yeah. I know I will watch when I can. Struggle with shading. It's a bit hard for me. Kel, could you explain to me? Like, I want to help you right now. So, could you explain to me what exactly you're struggling with? Is it that you don't know where to shade and where not? Because that would be. That would make sense to me. But I actually don't know what those people, like most people seem to have that problem. But what is yours? Do you have the same thing? Maybe I should like really record some tutorials and talk to you 
and the others in a serious matter like not like this right now is like very random and very rambly but i should probably take this serious and make tutorials i suppose i don't know how how many people want tutorials Looks very wrong. It looks better. That looks perfect. <laughs> Please make tutorials, okay. Do you have matters for me to talk about? Like, what topics would you like? Shading is definitely the one I will have to do. I will actually so you can see this canvas I want to give you a little tutorial right now on shading so please watch if you have a problem with shading this is a ball it's not perfectly circled but this is a ball it's standing on something is also not perfect but you know he's on a table or something something is around him let's say he has light over here the light is hitting him directly so we know that there's light here and we know that there can't be light over here that's you know something like this it's not pretty you couldn't blend it you have like several values between the that's easy let's say this is a white light lights are mostly warm so i mean i just i just trembling but this is a warm light it's a pretty warm light it's like white it's like really hot i guess i suppose i have no idea but what i like to do is like i have like a tiny light from this side so then you have like a little bit of rim light which makes your character pop and this is you have to keep this in mind at all times give me not like let's give you another example let's i need a shape everything around here is circled a mouse so this is a computer mouse it has let's say let's keep it simple for you it has a white light from top you can't really see that and or not let, let's not make it the top because top is easy let's make it from this side i will just color it really quickly i hope you're watching because i'm not trying really hard to don't mind the roughness of the drawing i just really need a quick way to demonstrate stuff so 
so white light is coming from that side and you have to imagine the thing in 3d so like it was in front of you the best thing to study it is to take an actual object and put it in that light something similar i have like figurines up here from goku black rose like in rose super saiyan rose i have bruce lee and some other figurines up there which i sometimes use to study light but the light is coming from this side we see that so this will be light you have to really imagine it how it will look like and maybe at the bottom a little bit but then again this wheel is standing out so we know that there can't be any light here and it will probably have like a shadow on this side this side won't be illuminated illuminated at all we also know that we can make it darker and to show you that this part here is standing out we will leave it a little bit like brighter because then you know that actually from top the mouse is like this and this part is here so there's you can you have to imagine it like there's light coming but not as much and you really have to imagine it in 3d so let's put in a smaller light directly from this side in blue hope you can see the blue arrow it's like almost from the back side and this here like there won't be a lot of light on this very corner so we could darken it here and only have the edge please let me know if it doesn't make any sense then i will try something different So it's looking from back we know that here we can't have any light inside here but it will hit this corner a little bit and a tiny bit here because the light the light is traveling this direction hitting here here it's a little bit too dark but since this part is like coming out it will hit this area a little bit yeah and that's pretty basic tutorial i hope you really really understand something if not what's up saying games but you know i hope this makes sense and you can like infinitely add light to it like let's say from top yellow I'm watching is the rim light in a specific color for example based on back yes exactly the it is based on the light source and on the background like let's say let's say this mouse is based on a why did I so wrong, wrong too? Sorry. Let's say the table is green for some reason. Then we will have a, like a, a direct shadow underneath. Maybe a little bit of shadow here. But then again, the mouse, if it's like metal, it will show a little bit of that green. I really hope this thing makes sense to you you have like then the main thing i want to teach you is imagine it in 3d and what is the backside how it's standing related to the light and i really hope this makes sense the same thing with vegeta like with vegeta i know that there's a light coming always picking these horrible colors sorry i know there's a light let me pick a color 
it's coming from like here so like this so it's always sitting here but there's like little skin folds and stuff it doesn't hit like here here where the clothing is a little bit under the head underneath this so i have a picture like i always keep the light source in mind and know where it's standing at any time so it makes things easier for me when shading i know where to shade where not when it's coming from here there's no light in this crease it can't get here because the muscle is shaped in such a way and this thing is blocking a lot of the light as well here is dark anyways I mean, Jamaric, could you tell me if it made any sense or should I try again? It's really handy to place, to play with figurines and whatever. I hope it made sense. If you have any sort of different, like any other question, I could try explain again or something completely different. Doesn't need to be related to anything I'm doing right now. I definitely want to try and help you guys be become better artists. I want to be Bob Ross at my age, so you could call me Tom Ross. Just need a afro. You know, realistically, there wouldn't be a light source here. I will keep that tone just so it looks more prominent, like it's standing out more. And then I'll just keep, keep on shading. Yeah, I think it's good. I will add one more layer of skin tone. Because areas like this should be really dark. There's like literally no light whatsoever. Shading is really important to show off the look, like the three dimensional look of something like muscles only start to come at you like in 3d if it's shaded correctly so it's really an important step of the artwork so yeah so i really want to make sure you guys understood what i said i know i keep repeating myself but my explanation is not worth anything without any sort of feedback so I'm currently not sure if I'm doing a good job or terrible. Could literally be both. Do you have any sort of I know I keep asking you a lot, but I want this to be a little bit more of a conversation, you know. So do you have anything, any questions in regards of my job? As some of you know, working in game, game development. Do you have aspirations to work in there? And do you have some questions related to it? Is there any way I could help you with that, for example? Do 
now is your chance because I dedicated three hours of my life for Q and A, pretty much. So whatever you want to ask me, <coughs> chances are probably a hundred percent that I will see it because there's not too many people, I think. Or I have no idea to be honest because I have no counter of the views up. So I could be talking to the three people who are in chat. Okay, now it's time for the highlights because I've been adding too much shading anyways. Do you study on a university to direct a job in the other job business? Um, I can give you a bit quick bio. I have loved drawing ever since I was a kid. I worked in graphic design. Like I studied media and IT, like media would be web design, video production and like stuff like Photoshop and whatever. I studied that in school, but it was clear to me that I would not study that in university because I knew everything and it was boring me, I was just doing it for a degree, on the side I was always drawing and my teachers kept telling me that I should study art but that sounded to me like the most boring thing you could ever do and I actually, after school I kept doing graphic design, you know, I thought that was my career I always wanted to be an artist but that really never sounded like a career path to me. I did have my YouTube channel by then, like I started in 2013, five years now already. And it was kind of a plan B, like I was thinking, all right, this is starting to earn me some money. And commissions were coming in and whatever and I was getting better because I was at some point drawing like something that was for me a pretty big artwork twice a week and uploaded it to YouTube and I was getting really bad really good really quick back then I didn't think I did that way but I did realize now that I was making big progress then and it was pretty much clear to me that I want to do graphic design at all times and I kept doing it and as I said art was never a career path for me and at some point I was earning more with my commissions than I was doing with my art. Uh, with my graphic design and that point I thought like you know I should really do full-time not YouTube but YouTube was a part of my art and I was like contemplating should I get a real like a real job so to speak or keep doing art or like do art on the side or should I like I was I should probably say at that point I was actually looking for a new job and I really was thinking should I get a new job or should I focus on my art and it turns out that after some looking around actually my sister found a game company in the city I'm living 
that I was looking for, like it, it was a UI and UX, user experience and UI artist position that I applied for, but knowing, but that wasn't open anymore. But the boss of the company emailed me back saying that he's seen the art I've done because I've put it in my portfolio for whatever reason, because it was not really relevant for the job position anyways. And he really thought that there was like, there was a position coming up or something. I can't remember anymore, but he linked me to the other job position, which I've got. So I became an artist full time. I couldn't believe it for a long time because it's always been my dream. And by chance through my sister and through that boss, I became an artist and now two years later I'm an art director for the same project and I've been loving it I have to admit it's like the best job you could imagine I'm enjoying the stream but I'm also drawing my friend a Sherlock Sherlock Queen BBC version drawing for her birthday oh she has a birthday tomorrow I wish I had time, like when I was doing YouTube streams more often, I would sometimes draw people for their birthdays, like fellow YouTubers. Back then, I would probably call myself a YouTuber, but I never liked that term because I never felt like I was a YouTuber or I, I don't know. I like YouTube, the idea behind YouTube, but YouTuber is not what I would like to be called, I guess. I have an hour left, I think we will get this thing now. I like the way you utilize highlights, unlike Toei. They utilize their highlights a bit bad. Yeah, I know the... Shintani for the new Dragon Ball movie. Actually has not used any highlights, I think, in the concept art. I never really looked at it that way, like that detailed, like that good, but I am... Um, when I was drawing Broly, I noticed in his concept that he never really drew any highlights on him. And I don't know why, I think it's stylistic choice. I personally like to have mix between comic and anime art but then add a realistic twist to it like it's not comic or anime it's like a mix of both with a realistic touch one artist friend of mine named James Rice told me once like I asked him was it him I think he was he told me that like he would explain my art style comic with realism or something like that I have forgot like I don't know exactly what he said but realism definitely plays a big role Regarding that one question, if I studied art or not, um, I want to add that an art degree is definitely helpful because you'll get to learn a lot and you'll learn how to learn and how to get better as an artist. But you don't really, you don't really need it. I didn't have one. And I know from artists who worked at Disney that you don't really have 
like they have artists working on their big time movies who didn't really study they taught themselves which is a great thing with art and i think in the us art colleges are anyways way too expensive so you are probably better off in most cases i should say most people are better off paying for courses on online that's my personal opinion going in a sec sorry tomorrow tom but these streams are great for getting some game dev done are you actually developing on the side so i mean you probably you're already gone but yeah. thanks for hanging around man health helps thanks for sharing the one giveaway link i hope everyone joined because it's really not that it can't like it's something i can't do all the time and the more people join the better for me because then it, i know it pays off to give away my time like that i don't know i'm just rambling around again Do you draw realistic? Um, not really. I do practice some things. Like I like to draw realistic textures just for practice. But I'm not a realistic kind of artist. I also don't think I'm that good at it. I've recently done some paintings, with textures just for practice again. I could share those think sometime but I want to do some more so maybe I'll show them when I'm happy with them and I did when I have to share more I will share some as well all right goodbye so favorite game you like to play um recently my favorite game has been spider-man for the ps4 um yeah i'm really looking for red dead redemption but you know i won't have any time for it until until december i'm afraid but i have to find some ways to make it work i don't know But yeah, recently I've actually planned some time in, for, in my schedule for Spider-Man. So, you know, my schedule is that crazy that when I want to have a, want, when I want to play a game, I have to write it down in my calendar and take the day off or whatever. So I can tell people that I don't have time on that day. And yeah, and prepare work in advance just so I can take some time off to play. I twittered you my little sketch I was drawing during the stream. Awesome, man. And I think the term is tweeted.
I really like to see your guys' catches or girls. So if you are drawing along, I would love to see your stuff. And if you want, we could at the end of the stream we could take a look at all of your tweets together if you want. And I will give you live feedback on them. I used to do that in the past as well. Was great time. I'm not sure if this is too dark. Is any one of you a Dragon Ball expert? Like a legit one? When it comes to art? I, I actually don't have any reference for Super Sam Blue, so... I think a little bit Cyan should... I don't care, I'll just leave it like this. I'm almost done with the sketch. Yeah, I'm almost done too. Just the hair and a little bit of effects. That's it, the aura and the... Do you prefer custom brushes or... Cu standard brushes or custom brushes on digital art programs and how long do you stream? I will stream for another 45 minutes. And yeah... I will... Oh, the question was... What kind of brushes? I mostly work with the standard brush. But... I do have my custom brushes that I create myself and you know for some occasions it's better to have a custom brush but in these occasions I mostly create my own. Yeah. there's a good reason I will use custom brushes if you mean that the hair looks all right okay good I haven't drawn Super Sam Blue ever since Vegeta you know that he has like this sparkly version of blue how was that called a royal blue or something? I have no idea. Completely forgot about that. I remember I had drawn it, so that's what stuck in my mind. For those of you who actually watch Dragon Ball, because I know not all of my people are Dragon Ball people, do you miss Super? Or have you found something else to watch instead? Or do you just live on life without even noticing it? My personal answer would be that I am actually enjoying the break from it because I had really to watch every episode right when it came out because I was doing an artwork every single week. And I needed a break to be honest. But I think I'm slowly getting back to a point where I wouldn't mind seeing a new series or something. Well, that's why I'm actually at the beginning when when people like when Dragon Ball just had stopped and the movie got announced or leaked or whatever, I was actually not that impressed. I actually was I had enough of Dragon Ball. And I actually like 
thought I wouldn't even see it. But right now I'm actually looking forward to it. Who would have thought? Like, yeah. I enjoyed the break. And I'm not missing it really, but I wouldn't mind it. I actually like now don't don't get scared I'm applying lipstick to him but then turn the opacity down and you have perfectly looking lips what a great thing to do. I hate how they call it in Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I, it should just be Super Saiyan Royal Blue or something like Yeah, I thought it was called Super Saiyan Royal Blue, but thanks for the information. Um, I watch My Hero Academia now, but yeah, I'm a super. Um, my Hero Academia is actually really cool. Saul, the guy who just left my moderator, got me into it. And I actually thought that first season was kind of okay. It wasn't the best thing, but I grew to love it. He would love to hear this right now, I bet. But it's actually an amazing series. I have no idea why I thought it was average for some reason like it's definitely better than super in my opinion just saying it because i kind of i think the writing and everything is better i have no idea what i'm talking i guess just just my opinion the thing i'm just doing now the hell yep. happens again i miss super but i started watching my hero academia everybody seems to start my what watching mha does anyone call it that mha But I actually don't really like the art style from Super compared to Z. Yeah, me neither. I like Z much better. Not just from the art style, but everything. Actually, I prefer the original Dragon Ball. It's my favorite. Like, Super is not something I would like to rewatch. Maybe an arc sometimes. But I could rewatch Dragon Ball Z and the original. I already rewatched it like five times. So Well, 
one second, I'll read the rest of the comments. Yeah, this is enough. Just don't like the eyes. He looks too clean, like I should rough him up. But then again. I'm playing a little bit of gradients. <laughs> but I think Hunter x Hunter is probably my favorite. I've heard that from a lot of people and I keep promising that I will watch it at some point. But why don't you, if you like, if you have time and you want to, why don't you tell me what you love about it and so I see if it's like really that good because I've actually thought about putting in some time in my schedule again for anime stuff and if there's something really good out there I suppose I should watch it, draw it and Hunter x Hunter was like my top request to be honest one of the top definitely there was like attack of the titan or something like that and yeah there was different stuff so that just suggested to me but hunter was like definitely one of those i considered death note and fairy tale fairy tale was also requested a ton this was actually with hunter x hunter and, and something else and those i actually really wanted to watch soon i actually have no idea like i don't know anything about him so any sort of stuff you can tell me about it is like great for me All right, guys, so if you're interested, now comes the aura, which a lot of people envy me for it, I hear, at least, because it's nothing special. adding a little bit of rim light the reason is that right now I will add the aura around him and you know the aura is like pretty dark pretty like bright so it would make sense to illuminate his face and stuff a little bit at least I imagine it as light as a light source a separate light source Got the nose. And I did a mistake already. Okay, I would really like to see what you guys are working on so at the end I will see, like I know that at least one person tweeted me 
like chili milli or whatever. Ch yeah, chili milli. I thought I made that name up, but it's a fun name. Like I probably stuck in my head somewhere, even though I thought I forgot it. I forgot it. It's a memorable thing. Great marketing there. I've also been watching Mira and Nikki Future there recently. Very underrated, but very gory. Okay. So. Sounds cool. But I'm trying to find something I can watch with my girlfriend. And she's not into gory stuff. Like, honestly. She would hate if I said it, but. Deadpool 2 had some scenes which were too much for her, she didn't really like them at all. I enjoyed that movie. I love the... The easter eggs in it, you know. Hey Tomislav, do you remember me? Wouldn't be surprised if not. Stop laughing now. Laughing. Yeah, man, I remember you. I remember a lot of people you would surprise. You'd be surprised. I definitely do remember you. I think. Was it YouTube? Or do you do I have something else from you in mind? But I do remember the name. I actually am pretty good at remember remembering people. Often I would just see someone on the street, people wouldn't believe me that that guy went to school with them and even though I did never go to school with those people, I'm the one who, who recognizes them. So Things get pretty awkward pretty quick. But yeah, that's just my artistic eye I would like to s claim like that it's that because I remember a lot of details really quickly I'm really happy that some of you people are drawing along with me that makes me feel kind of I don't know it feel, it gives me the feeling that I'm sitting there right with you and we're drawing together even though I'm the only one talking and I can just read your comments it makes me feel part of something so I'm really looking forward to see what you did I'll tweet you the sketch but it may be a little late for the full color um whatever if like color is not important i just would like to see your sketch that would be awesome if you could send it but you know it's not a requirement i would just love to see what people are something is not right with this color used to retweet and comment on your tweet oh right yeah my twitter post but also joined your streams with another channel called silo design i remember that one as well i do remember that as well yeah man i remember both of name i didn't know you were the same person <laughs> guys i need your feedback what kind of background should i draw i have like half an hour left whatever you would like I'm starting with a dark background. Now I'm painting. Let's make it easy. A dark background. Some days I'm here trying to make a change. Some days.
Thank you, man. I appreciate your nice, your kind words. A cold background, maybe. Purple looks very cool, but I might change it so. Working on the aura. The first thing I like to draw with the aura is a rim and then I just blur it even more press it go all the way up and just press ok and then I add a little bit of different colors in there a little dark So now it's like a white glow around it. But then I like to add like this m these lines, just random random lines pretty much. Just mix different colors in there. And just smear them like up and down so it looks like motion lines like motion blur but with this motion blur if this is completely controlled by me so I get to say where it's going I just realized that this red makes it look like it's like it's a um, Kaioken This looks cool. Now I'm adding a little bit more depth to it. Going over with black everywhere where shadow is. And then taking white, a much smaller brush, and going over everywhere where I have a, a really bright palette. And then just put this layer on overlay, a bit too much, go to 40% or something, and it adds a little bit of dynamic to it. Fly for YouTube, yeah man, really love your drawing style, thanks a lot. I try, so it's really great to know that it works, that it's actually good stuff that I do. Now I'll do our crossing like this. It's actually not that what I want, so maybe like this. Put a little bit of a different color in there again, and maybe some dark blue. Also mixed in it. Mix it. You don't see anything when I blur it, but then I change my layer style or blend mode. Once the blend mode is changed, actually looks like something I would say. 
What's up, Speedscape? Welcome to the stream. We're pretty much done now, but I promised to look at people's drawings because some have drawn along. So, everyone who tweeted at me with an artwork will get a response back. So far, I have three tweets. I can see that because I have Twitter open conveniently. And now what I want to do is like send more blue around him. I like to mix in the Siam mix in there too. So. You know what I really would like? Electricity, but you know, I don't think Super Saiyan Blue has electricity. Give me one second, I need to look up something. Same. Like I want some particles around there, but for that I need to serve Super Saiyan Blue. I forgot that it's actually a little bit of yellow. Like the aura directly behind them is actually yellow. I need your help on something. What do you call a fusion? Is it like do you refer to them as them? Like do you refer to them as them or as he or whatever? Like is it a plural or is it singular? I always wondered that. Maybe some of you has the answer. I don't think this yellow works. Blue looks much nicer. Stop laughing now, goodbye man. Make white electricity. Chicken mask DG, yeah I'm alive. Do you know you? You sound familiar, but I'm not exactly sure I know who you are. This looks like something I want to add. Want an image of like dark blue particles. are all too round to be more random This doesn't look like what I want now. Give me one second, I will get back to the stream right away. I just want to figure these things out.
But this is not what I want. This doesn't look good. At least I think so. Okay. Yeah, man, but I can't. Like, I know what they say. I'm not Goku, I'm not Vegeta. Like, I know that. But for me, it's still hard to refer to this as them or like as he even though i do i keep in my head like all the time that it's actually two dudes i don't know should i make this stronger Um, one thing I definitely want to do is like all right you sent yours I'm actually pretty much done at this point I just want to figure the aura out a little bit more it's bugging me like it's it's good but it's not where I want it Maybe just more random lines like this. Then maybe blur them out. This is kind of doing it. So what do you rate this? Is this a... I want to pose like imagine Vegeta and Goku in the Super Saiyan Blue just fusing with another like it just happened there was a big explosion and then the first frame you see of Vegeta is this that's what my imagination wanted that's what I had in my mind and I think it works so what do you think? I suppose while I'm streaming, while I actually have people here, I could like for feedback live, I suppose. You know, use it while I'm actually streaming. This was all created live, but the sketch, the sketch was like five minutes. What up checklist? I also remember you because you might ask like other people had. What's up man? So usually I would just put my logo all over it. But yeah. I can do that later i suppose so let me save it a last time glad you joined yeah it's been a long time since my last stream or video even i talked about it earlier i actually did record something but it kind of didn't work out I'll keep it short i lost some audio and such so so you should just see no i give me a second i just want to i will i'm getting a phone call so give me a second, but I will get to you in a second with some artworks that you drew. I'd want to go over them live with you. One second, guys.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So, what do you think about going through your drawings live? I hope you're still here. I probably lost a few people because I have talked too long. But the first artwork by Luca Grimm or Grimm. Is this? You should hopefully see it. I have no idea. This is the only way I can show it right now. His handle is Double M. And yeah. I like it, man. It's very, very artistic. I have no idea what if that's the proper term. But I like it a lot. I like the style, like the different colors in the line work. Definitely cool. I don't have, I have like six minutes, so I have to rush through those things. I mean, I will stay longer, but I should also leave very, 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 very quick. This is by Saying Games, the girl in the chat. This looks actually very cool for a sketch. Not, a, not too much detail, it's actually right where it should be. Proportions also look very good, so I don't know what to say. I mean, it's still a sketch. But it's a very solid sketch, I have to say. Now the Paragus and the Boroli. Sounded weird. I have to adjust it a little bit, put it on the canvas. They look very good, man. I thought you said you we were having trouble with it. But if you're still here, where's my mouse? Oh, that's perfect. My, my tablet is acting up. Um, yeah. Probably hit the cable or something. This is very good, man. I don't know what I would say. I would probably add some feet on the back. But make it obvious that it's feet, not some nipples. And for Broly, maybe you could have Broly like in, with an arc and feet are over here. That would look kind of weird. But I think you understand. And I still like... Has to go, so let me make this quick. Thank you for joining. This is our result. This is what we made in two hours. Or my thing thing says it was two hours and 40 minutes, so almost three hours. Like I said, we only have about three hours. I really want to thank you all for joining. I wish I could look at your drawings a little bit longer, but I have to go, man. And yeah, thank you for your nice words. I know that I made your character a while ago, I remember it. The drawing is sick. Yours is very good too, man. I hope you heard my feedback. Um, keep in mind that I have a giveaway on Twitter. You can win yourself a something like this, very similar with your face or whatever you want actually, but I always say it's your face. If you want something like that, you could join my giveaway on Twitter or Instagram. The links are down here, you can see them. And it's pinned on my Twitter profile. The rules are all there. Good luck if you, if you chose to participate and please stay on my social media because this artwork will be live like in about 10 minutes i just have to prepare the links and watermark over it because i don't want people to steal it but i'm really thanks you guys joined maybe we can do those more often i'm really glad this worked out and yeah love you all thank you for all the support i mean it a lot thanks bye